Dry eye is a very common condition. In fact, it's believed that it's the number one reason for people's visits to the eye doctor. Estimates vary wildly between, it's been thought that anywhere from 25 to 60 million Americans have dry eyes, depending how you define dry eye. What are the early symptoms of dry eye? People notice themselves blinking more often. They notice, ironically, that their eyes tear when they're in windy places, for example, because the wind comes along, really dries your eyes out, and then the tears we use for crying kick in, and so now they wonder why tears run down their face. So they're always puzzled when they come to me and say, my eyes tear, and I look at them and say, that's because you have dry eye. Like, hmm, I thought you were kind of a smart eye doctor. And then I explain to them the, the cause of it. And with dry eye, the difficulty is historically, the solution has always been put in moisturizing drops, which kind of intuitively sounds right because it's dry, wet it. But that would be like a chapped lip getting licked. It'll have a momentary benefit, but then you wonder if it actually doesn't do more harm. Because the tears are made up of multiple constituents, the largest two of which are water, and oil. Most people don't have a water deficiency, and artificial tears would only help if you had a water deficiency. It's the oil deficiency that 80% of dry eyes are caused by. The oil comes from the oil glands in our eyelids. Every time we blink, a little tiny packet of oil gets liberated into our tear film. That oil floats on top of the water layer and it slows down the retards, the uh, evaporation of the water layer. When there's good oil there, the tears don't evaporate quickly, we see great. When there isn't good oil there, the tears evaporate quickly and you're constantly blinking or putting in drops and so forth. So getting after dry eyes is to first determine and decipher the origin of that dry eye and then treat it. Could it be due to oil deficiency or water? If it's due to water deficiency, is it due to an immune system condition in the body that's attacking the uh, tear producing glands or is it due to something else. If it's an oil deficiency, is it due to uh, dietary uh, imbalance or is it due to conditions uh, such as rosacea where the uh, oil glands become plugged up with inflamed blood vessels. And so getting to the root of the cause of the dry eye is the first step and then knowing which treatments to offer is the next step. Uh, we offer a treatment for people with oil uh, deficiency uh, referred to as delight, where we actually take pulsed, bright pulsed light into the skin and it causes a regression of the abnormal blood vessels and causes the oil glands of the eyelids to start to produce normal oil again. It's a fascinating treatment because one of the side effects of it is smoother skin. And so it's one of the few medical treatments that we offer that has a beneficial side effect.